Welcome back to another fucking story time, everybody. Uh, without further ado, let's get straight into it, man. So, this is a story on how I got caught stealing from my teacher. And the way I got caught was dumb as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. But, so, to set the scene, I was in, uh, I was in, like, seventh grade. Yeah, I was in middle school. And, uh, this teacher, he was a cool-ass nigga. He was, his name was Mr. Demadio, Mr. D. He was a big-ass nigga. But he was a tall, big, buff nigga. And the nigga was a nerd, though. Like, he was into, like, the anime. He liked, his favorite, like, character thing was the Incredible Hulk. Like, that was his, like, joke or whatever. He was a cool nigga. He was one of the teachers, like, you want to go to his class. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's that one teacher or a few teachers, he's like, ah. I, I might not like school, but I like his class. So, you know what I'm saying? Type shit. So, uh, he had this, um, this, uh, we had this thing in school actually called cool cats. Right. And the way I, I forget how you would earn it, but you would earn cool cats. These like, it was like, like monopoly money, but they called it cool cats. Right. And what you could do with it, like if you had a certain amount, you could redeem it to get certain stuff. And then I think like once a month, they would have like a party or maybe like once every few weeks, two weeks or something, they would have like this party. And if you had the cool cats or whatever, you could use it to go there type shit. Like you can get out of class and go there. This is in middle school now. Right. So, you know, we I'm a nigga. Right. Y'all know this, but like I'm a nigga. So we start plotting. We start plotting on this nigga. Right. Even though he's a cool nigga, I, we, we couldn't help it, right? So um, I was just thinking like, okay, how can we do it? Because we would always, oh, let me backtrack, let me backtrack. So, uh, you know, teachers don't think younger niggas like be like looking, but me, I'm always a smart nigga. So I'm, I just would always just watch the nigga. I say, I want to see where he puts the cards at, where, where are the places that he puts the cool cat cards at? So I know all the places to check when I decide to hit my lick on this nigga, right? So I see he keeps them in the bottom left drawer. I'm telling you, I remember to this day, he keeps them in the bottom left drawer. And every now and then he might switch it to a different one. But for the most part, bottom left drawer, right? So one day uh, we have we have a substitute teacher. And uh, I already, I, from Jump Street, I said, oh, this is the day. This is the day we're going to hit a lick. Because uh, when he would, when if he was ever there, he would be the last one out and the first one back in to open the door type shit. So, like, you didn't have a chance to get a lick unless, like, maybe he stepped out or something. But for the most part, you're not going to get a chance, right? So, uh, this day, when we get, it's a sub, like, two, three of us plot on. We like, oh, yeah, we doing it. We going to do it when we come back from lunch, too. Because we already know the substitute going to give us the keys to go ahead and open the door. And then, um, and then, um then we can just goddamn open the door before the sub before the whole class get there open the door get our shit get back goddamn so we talking about it we like okay yeah that's how we gonna do it or whatever so now boom we walking back from lunch the plan is in action like we is we is finna go do this shit right so we go in bro we dumb as fuck we go in not even me bro the other like two niggas or one nigga bro it was like three of us but two of us got caught so we go in niggas go in making hella noise bro bombarding the nigga desk so the teachers can the, the teachers around in the the class uh next to us because it was mr d class and then two other classes like in a half circle not in a but like in the like in a corner or whatever but it's different rooms type shit if you was in middle school you know bro everybody was in middle school so i feel like y'all should know what i mean though but like it's a teacher literally right next door so she hear all this shit right so then we boom 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 bam god damn she busts in what y'all doing whatever right but we already like tried to play it off type shit but like we kind of like we kind of got caught you know what i'm saying like stealing a nigga uh the cool cat cards or whatever right so but no let me take it back she didn't catch us in the act but she thought she knew type shit you know what i'm saying like she knew but she didn't know you know what i'm saying and me i'm never gonna admit to it you didn't catch me i'm sorry you didn't catch me my nigga so that shit wraps so she was like what are y'all doing whatever and we're just like nothing nothing so she tell us to fucking go over in in her classroom i'm like fuck i'm thinking i'm thinking nothing of it right so i'm thinking well at the same time i am thinking something of it but at the same time i'm like nah like we straight so we fucking um we just sitting back there and then I guess she calls somebody. We got these uh, two kids or whatever. So then we go get called to the principal office or whatever. Right. And so then, like I said, she didn't catch us in the act. She just thought she knew. Right. 
So I tell my brother, I, I text my brother like, man, you won't believe what's going on because I'm getting ahead of it, nigga. I'm smart. I'm getting ahead of the situation. I'm texting my brother because then I know it'll get back to my mom. And then it's like, I'm 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 not in the wrong here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, I've, I've always been a smart nigga. I've always been smart up here. So I text my brother like, bro, you won't believe what's going on. They saying I stole these cool cat cards, bro. I don't even know what they talking about. Blase, blase. And then this this happens on a Friday, right? So then I go home, tell my mom the situation. And then she's just like, okay, like we're going to see like whatever, what happens or whatever, blase, blase. And uh, because Friday I didn't get a referral or nothing. It was it was light shit. So then Monday comes around. I get called to the office. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, damn. So then this this old fat white nigga got them don't got don't get no pussy nothing just just fucking here to terrorize the little children of the world man fuck man so this nigga's basically like i heard you were stealing cool cat cars i'm like nah bro like nah i didn't bro you know what i'm saying he was like well the teacher saying you did so that's literally what the nigga said the teacher saying you did so you did and i'm just like what even though i did though you feel me like i did but like i know you don't have no evidence this is america i'm innocent until proven guilty these niggas said no this is a uh what is it uh uh a, not a monarchy i don't know a dictatorship if she said you did it you did it i said man that's some fuck shit so then nigga calls my mom or whatever whatever and then um like but look though i got ahead of it so i've already had this conversation with my mom i've already had it so i was straight i was good you know what i'm saying but my mom did say if you get a referral though that is your ass i i don't think i i, I didn't end up getting a whipping though uh because i was like bro i didn't steal like I, I die on this hill bro i did not steal it i did steal it though but i didn't steal it bro like i didn't do it so i end up getting iss for like two days or some shit like that and uh i don't know i don't know what happened to the other dude i forgot i don't even i have no clue but i know both of us got referrals though type shit and uh that was that though but that was a funny ass time though but the, like i said though the way we got caught bro we were just inexperienced criminals you feel me like we should but what we should have did we should have walked in there walked in there casually because the teacher in the other room wouldn't have came out we should have just walked in there opened the door promptly walked over there casually took our shit got the fuck on but when I tell you we ran in that bitch, do, 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 do. open the door, da, 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 da. like making hella noise type shit. So like, duh, we got caught. We got caught, but we didn't get caught type shit. But yeah, man, if y'all enjoyed this story time, man, uh, subscribe to your boy, like the video for more, man. Uh, I definitely got, I got hella more stories for y'all niggas though, man. Uh, so yeah, man, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye Tata Goodbye